Hi everyone, Tasu here from The Equipment Guy, and welcome to our review for the best inflatable two-person kayak in the UK. Today we'll tell you what advice to give to your family if they want to buy a two-person inflatable kayak, we'll tell you what you get for your money, and we'll take you step-by-step step through our reviews to tell you which one is the best two-person inflatable kayak. So what advice would we give? The most common asked question is how do they perform? Long story short, they do really good. Sometimes they even outperform the classic hard shell kayaks. Even though cheaper inflatable kayaks look similar to the high end ones, they don't perform as well as these. The reason for that is the difference in materials, firmness and hull shape. The next question would be, will it puncture? Cheaper kayaks made from less durable material tend to puncture sometimes. But high end kayaks, which are made from very durable material that is similar to the ones used in life saving boats, with these ones, the chances are close to zero that it will puncture. Are included pumps and pedals a good idea? First, it seems, yeah, I can save money. To be honest, I would recommend you to get your own high end pumps so you can reduce the time it takes to inflate your kayak. You'll also need a well designed pedal to help you get through the water easy. So how hard is it to set up the kayaks? It really depends on the kayak. Some kayaks with seven or eight inflation points, it's gonna take quite a while to put them up. Other kayaks who just have three are way quicker. We're gonna take a closer look on our reviews later. Okay, so how did we rank the kayaks? We ranked each kayak about five different categories. Comfort, performance, construction, portability, setup and pack down. For full details, see our website. Comfort. Okay, there's a lot to speak about this topic. The most important things are how much leg room you got, how much space you got, what kind of material you're sitting on, and the most important thing is what your backrest feels like. With a two-person kayak, the most important thing would be the length, because considering you need to fit two people comfortable. The standard models that we tested were the Razer Kayaks R2 Ultra and the X2 High Pressure, the Blackfoot 160 DS Angler and the Advanced Frame Convertible Elite. They're all made of really comfortable materials with good backrests to sit on and have a good length to accommodate two people without being too long to handle properly. At the other end were the Intex Explorer and the Challenger and the Sea Eagle 330, which were hard to get into and the cockpit was cramped. Performance is the next category. Performance essentially looks how maneuverable the kayak is in the water, but most importantly, how fast it is. There are some huge differences in this category. So higher end kayaks like the X2 cut really efficiently through the water and are easy to pedal. Whereas cheaper kayaks like the Explorer are harder to keep in a straight line. And because they lack firmness, they feel more like you're fighting to get where you want to go. Construction is up next, that looks at durability, design, materials and craftsmanship. The design of cheaper kayaks like the Iliwit kayak or the Sea Eagle 330 with really wide side humes means they handle more like a dinghy, while other cheap kayaks use lower grade materials. It could puncture. It's really key to look for quick drying, high density PVC and ideally some form of drop stitch or tech stitch, which is internal threads holding together the outside layer of fabric. So when it's inflated, the internal pressure creates a really hard surface. All the top models on our list use this at least on the floor and the Razer kayak models use a highly engineered version called tech stitch on the floor or full hull for maximum rigidity. Next up, portability. This looks at weight, size and how you carry the kayak. Some kayaks like the Intex are able to get to smaller size and weight because they use lower grade PVC. So smaller pack size doesn't always mean better. Overall, when you're comparing the big brands in our ratings, they were only a few points apart. So you can see in our graph that in terms of portability, there's not a huge difference between the top brands. Obviously, two-person kayaks are always going to be bigger. So kayaks that come with oversized bags are a good thing, as they'll be easier to pack into the bag along the fins, seats, pedals, etc. Set up, pack down. A lot of people think about how fast a portable kayak is set up. Consider the pack down takes time as well. 
both of them are really important. One of the major drawbacks for advanced elements is that they have so many inflation points and slow dry materials covering the kayak. Kayaks that have fewer inflation points and an outer layer of toughened PVC are great because they set up quickly and dry fast. Okay, the all important budget question. There's always things which don't fit in, but at the time of filming, we could split the market into three main categories, under 600 pounds. To be honest with you, in this price range, it's gonna be quite hard for you to find a good crafted kayak. You're gonna get cheaper materials, and in the long run, it might puncture. The next category is 600 to 1,000 pounds. In this category, you're gonna find a pretty good kayak. They might be a bit slower in the water and feel a bit bulkier than the high-end ones, but in the long run, they're gonna last and you're gonna have a pretty nice time. Then you've got the over 1,000 pound range. With these kayaks, you're gonna have a good time pedaling. You're gonna get good quality and they're gonna last you very long. So overall, this is where we landed. So you can see the blue lines represent the overall rating of the kayaks out of 100. And the orange dots represent the price of each kayak, indicated on the right. The Razer Kayaks X2 High Pressure was a standout for us because it's comfortable, stable, easy to set up and pack down and performs really well on the water. Others worth highlighting are the Blackfoot 160 DS Angler, which is a really high quality option, perfect for fishing. The Razer Kayaks R2 Ultra, which is a great value, recreational and convertible option. The sleek and well-designed Gumotex Rush and the advanced frame convertible Elite, which takes a long time to set up, but also performs very well in the water. Okay, so that's it with our review. For full written reviews, see our website. And if it helped you to buy an inflatable kayak, jump on there to donate or tell us what you thought.